Welcome back to the new save file once again. This time we are going to jump in as another Tarnished character. Be people have basically said to me, just play them. Don't bother with the unlocks too much. So I'm just going to play them because it's more fun for the channel and it's more fun for me. And basically I kind of got a little idea. Do people want to see more Tarnished characters? Like as in, like, do you know how we did the, like, we did like a deleted streak where we basically just played the deleted for a little while? Do people want to see that with um, with this character, with this character, this mod, where we kind of just play through some of the Tarnished characters back to back and get some completion marks and some unlocks? Because if people are up for that, I'll definitely do that. Anyways, gonna jump in as a Tarnished Eden. I've been told this guy is a character that I like quite a lot, which is interesting considering how much I dislike Tainted Eden. Anyways, let's take a little look. So... We've got Debug in the corner here, which um, re-rolls all the player's items into items of the same item pool and quality as the items you just had. Only consumes two charges on you, so we got a lot of re-rolls there. Um, and it says re-roll, and that's a door. So I'm guessing on entering a new room, we re-roll, and then... I'm not sure. Okay. Um... I'll be honest, I'm not sure. So, our stats re-rolled, our item re-rolled. Okay. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> so, this guy, rather than the way that Tainted Eden works, this guy just constantly re-rolls every room. So, we're going to see some really wacky shit as this guy. And I'd imagine this guy's going to be a little bit prone to crashing, unfortunately. That just tends to be the case when there's a lot of re-rolling with a lot of modded items. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, and I'm sure we'll get some bad stats here and there. Now, one thing that I don't know is uh, I wonder if kind of like the way that Tainted Eden works, if we'll um, keep the same quality of items and all the same item pool of items. By the way that it says for this here, um, into the same item pools and qualities, I'm assuming that that, is, that also goes for our um, rerolls that we get from room to room rerolls, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't I don't know. Um we've got this here. When you take damage, emit a shout that hurts and knock back. I mean, why even read it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> like it's gonna be gone in the next room. Like why even bother figuring out what it does? But this is gonna allow us to see a lot of modded items we perhaps haven't seen yet, so that's gonna be interesting. Um but yeah, as for the question of the day today, because we're playing a glitchy character, I've already asked what's, what's the best glitch you've seen. But what is, um, what's a glitch that you've managed to, like, produce that just made you laugh? Like, what is what is one of the, the funniest glitches that you've, like, managed to create in a game? Because there's always some, some hilarity in glitchiness. Like, glitches are one of those things where... It's like no developer wants glitches and bugs in their game, but at the same time, I feel like some games just wouldn't feel right without them. Like imagine Skate 3. Imagine Skate 3 without its glitches. It would just not be the game that it is today. Not even close. This guy's gonna give us a soul heart, right? Aw. Unfortunately, some enemies that get hit by this can actually like eat themselves. Sadly, this guy is not one of those. There you go. Split him up. Split him up. Unfortunately, we didn't get great stats for this room. I fire it's a little low. But our damage is good, at least. But yeah, the re-rolling stats is going to be interesting, because some rooms it's going to go bad. And yeah, we are doing great on HP right now. And Mr. Dolly's honestly a fantastic item to grab. For the, for the pure reason of... Um, we gained that HP that it dropped on the floor, and all of them were soul hearts plus black hearts. And then the item goes away, but we still get the on pickup effect. So on pickup effect items are going to be pretty strong for us. Oh god, what on earth? Okay, I didn't expect the visuals to be glitchy like that, but that's kind of cool. Dun, 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 dun. But let's just go ahead. This is yeah, this is going to be a fun one. I I already really like the idea of this character, mainly because it's one of those characters that I feel like it starts off pretty mundane. And, like, not very super interesting. Like, you get a few cool things here and there. But then, like, once you get sort of midway through your run, things are really going to start to spice up very quickly. Um, because we're going to get to the point where, um, 
No, I'll get rid of that rock as well. We're gonna get to the point where we're getting like crazy builds. Do you know like the D100 sort of days? When the D100 used to be really good. It's gonna kind of feel similar to that. Where you're just constantly re-rolling your run into something like absolutely mental. And I really love those sort of runs. They're just a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if I want to be going for devil deals. In fact, I am going to go for a devil deal. Because for the pure fact of I want to... Um, I want to see if it'll constantly reroll into another Devil Deal. Also, we have Dog's Tooth for the time being, which is actually very valuable right now. Um, three random hearts, one or soul heart. We also got a caps, a Capsule D8. All very good stuff here. What was the Capsule D8 again? I don't know what that is. Smells like licorice. Oh, I do like licorice. Um... Okay, I'm not quite sure what that's about, I'll be honest. Oh god. Whoa! What on earth are these guys? Okay, so... On getting hit, it turns enemies into me. That's interesting. And I don't know what this is. Fitch reward. Intriguing, okay. I'm not sure what the line is. Let's try this. Okay, now that did just re-roll me. Like, you, you see how there's a line on my item tracker? As if I can ha I have my item split. I'm not exactly sure what that is. So we can do... Basically, if we get, like, a bad lot of items, we can just switch over to something else, which is pretty nice. Ow. Clutch is doing his thing. And then we get that back. We get our toy drum. And I will check out the devil deal here just because I want to see. I was just about to say I want to see if they keep their uh, item pools. Doesn't matter. We didn't get anything in our devil deal there. Sad times. <laughs> Sad times. We got prop tosses. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the line's about. Put something I should probably look into. Also, how come I can't fire currently? I don't know. I can't fire, though. Um, I, I can no longer shoot. Like, at all. I, I just can't shoot. This has made this run rather impossible. I'm gonna get hit and hope it fixes it. It didn't. I can't shoot anymore. Yeah, um, I can't shoot anymore. So, do you know how I said that there's probably going to be some issues with mods and stuff? Well, yeah, I can't shoot anymore. So that's good. I don't know what item did that, but... It's not, not great. I am Mongo Baby, and that is it. This is going to be pretty rough. Okay. Did that fit? Having Monstrous Lung here might have fixed things potentially. Also, this is a really cool combo that we've got right now. It. Oh, wait, wait. I was going to say it didn't. We did fire a bomb there. Oh, it was Clutch that did it. It was Clutch that broke things. We've had this issue before. We luckily got him back. Do not let Clutch absorb into us. Okay, we fixed it. Clutch is really, really broken. Um, if, if he absorbs into you and then you lose the item, you just can't shoot. So it's lucky we got him back. Whenever we get him, we have to be very, very careful. Firing out some emojis right now. Scared the emojis out of me. That's one of my favorite clips. It's like a news reporter talking about emojis. <laughs> For some reason he says, oh, it scared the emojis out of me. And it's just, it's hilarious. It's just, he used it so poorly. Oh, we had Holy Mantle in this room. Nice. Get out of here. Some extra HP. Now, I'm thinking that because we got the crackling slag at quality 4, that's why we got Holy Mantle. 
because now we're going to get re-rolled into other quality fours, which I'm, I'm definitely down for. Now, with Holy Mantle as well, we should try a mother run, because we actually have Holy Mantle. But not for long. Um, it's, we've got to be really careful here still. Do you know what? That's a good idea to pick that up just in case. Yeah, we, we, we lost Holy Mantle already, but... Yeah, we got another quality four there, the present. So we are still keeping our quality fours, which is really good to know. Because we got Sacred Heart there as well. This is going to be good. Having more quality fours is going to be ace. Now, I do have to obviously be aware that I could easily die here, but you know me. I'm a god, so I didn't. We need to obviously always be aware of what our quality four is as well. Right. Get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. I love the, like, rapidly changing uh, costume here. It's kind of funny. I don't know where our secret room is here, but I could give a gander that it's probably not where I thought it was. Whoopsie. Um, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Second secret room could be here, though. I'll check that out at least. I will go for these. I think they're pretty useful to us. Oh my god, my damage. Okay, do these little maggots die? Oh, wait. I was shooting with stem cell there. That's why that damage was so low. Funny. Get gone. Holy shit, I got a soul heart out of that. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, we need more quality four items. And, um, devil and angel deal items. I'll do this, why not? That's good. Sadly, we lost our uh, brimstone there that we started uh, the floor with, which is a little bit upsetting, but is what it is. Yeah, I, I, I basically don't think we need to be using debug unless we come across just a hilariously bad run. But now that we've got a quality 4 locked in, we're always going to have a quality 4 in every reroll, so I doubt that's going to happen too much. But yeah, gotta say, really enjoyed this guy so far. You guys were right. This is, a, this is a class that I thoroughly enjoy. Oh, God, what the hell are you? This is, a, this is a guy that I thoroughly enjoy. Nice. Infestation 2 is in the mix there as well. So we've got a bunch of spiders for the next room. I like that a lot. Health is looking fantastic right now as well. Don't have to worry about that. We got Brimstone again. Sadly, the Brimstone is not forever for us. Although we're getting Tech X a lot. <laughs> like a lot and a lot. Yeah, like an awful amount. Um, I am going to pay into you. And that's not something that I want. I'm going to bomb you now. Get a look upgrade for it. Still don't really know what to do with my capsule D8. I don't think I want to use that. I don't think I want to D8. Oh, God. I didn't know that guy threw explosives. Interesting how it changes some enemies into us. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Tech Zero. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, Tech X is just, like, non-stop at the moment. Slow fire rate right there, but it's not a problem. Yeah, getting one quality four on this character just makes the run infinitely easier. Heal spare's good here. Basically, if anything's ever a quality one, we should really go and take the other item to try and get a higher quality. I think heal spare's a quality three. I think. Very, very good. Not that we'll be keeping it, but it's very, very good to know that it's good. Right, keep it moving, keep it grooving. I did not see that button there. I'll take the opportunity to just use it. Oh my god, we don't have Tech X. What's going on here? 
Burden. 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 Another soul heart. God damn. Health is just coming to us hot and fast right now. It's crazy. Damn it, that didn't work as I wanted it to. Oh no, it did. It did. Didn't kill any enemies, but it did work how I wanted it to, I think. Ow. Sadly, not much there for us. Let's go back and pick up the soul heart real fast. Let's get onto our boss. It is great Gibeon, and we have Monstrous Lung Tech X again. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. If anyone knows why I'm getting Tech X so much, let me know. Like, the only thing I can think is there's just not many quality 4 items to go at. But there's plenty of modded ones. So... Maybe it has trouble re-rolling into modded items. I don't know. But that, I've got a modded item in my inventory, so I've got a few. I've got Greg, Greg the Egg here. Of which, actually, I've seen Greg the Egg quite a few times, too. So, yeah, hard to know what's going on here. Oh god, did not see you there. Where are you? There you are. Last wave. Star is rather nice, an angel deal here I was not expecting, but I'll surely take. Quality two, quality three, we always take the quality three. And we go down. This is a very, very good run thus far. But yeah, there must be something I'm missing with, like, maybe you can lock items in as this character somehow that I'm not realizing. Sacred Heart again here. Owner of a Sacred Heart. Do, 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 do. Oh my lord, this is a, this is a fun one. This is a fun one. 40 fire rate. Holy damn, that's a lot of fire rate. And we do get Shoop the Whoop, which I don't know if that will re-roll, but I'm hoping it does. It most certainly does. Nice. I was kind of hoping it would. Now we just get a bunch of different actives all the time, which is really fun and can lead to some really cool stuff. I wonder if it respects unlocks or not. I wonder if we can get actives we haven't unlocked. I'm guessing it means we can only get quality two unlocks at the moment, which obviously isn't as good. It's still pretty decent though. Ooh, I'm liking this with the rockets and stuff. We're seeing some really fun builds here. Like this one is really cool. Oh, wait. There you go. I just had to take that opportunity to get this achievement. And I think he'll stay with us forever. I'm not sure. He might not. Okay, he does. Great. Great. I was thinking because he's not an item, there's a good chance he just stays with us. And that is indeed the case. So now we get a permanent... Boy. And considering how much health we've been getting, I'm pretty okay with giving up my red health there. Molten Dime. That's a quality one, so we definitely take this. Carolina Reaper. We could also generate some money here while we're while we're chilling. Just get up to 20 cent, I think. There you go. Good, good. And then... Oh, we have Binge Eater right now. Okay. Uh, now, one thing I'm curious about is with Binge Eater, if I take this, will I keep the HP up? I do. Awesome. Oh, wait, no, the item hasn't re-rolled yet. Okay, no, I do. Awesome. I thought I would, but I wanted to make sure.
Got them scorpions. But this is where I'm going to re-roll in because my damage was really low there. Because it's more, more so the stats and the items that are going to be worrying when we want to re-roll. A lot of red health. Oh, the other secret room's right there as well. Might as well at least take a look at that. Dog tooth coming in clutch. How do I get over this gap again? Can I bomb and it'll get over it? No. Hmm. I would like that. But, alas, we cannot have. We shoot the boot. Tech X is back once again for its uh, first and only debut of the run. Just kidding, it's it's 50,000. I'm not sure if this character is really overpowered or if I've just happenstanced a really fucking good run. I think I've just managed to get a really good run. This guy's fun. This definitely speaks to me as, as a, a cool, like, let's play all the tainted character, tarnished characters more sort of thing. Because I'm enjoying this guy a whole hell of a lot. Damn it, I wanted to use the eraser there. Now I don't have the opportunity. There's nothing to use the eraser on. I'll hold it in the air and see what happens when I head into the next room. I don't think it'll affect much. Nah, it's gone. Oh my lord, that was fucking cool. You see this shit? This is why this character's amazing. I Just runs you'd never normally see. I, there must be something, like some association between certain items. Because, like, Cherry Bomb, um, Shoop the Whoop, uh, Tech X, Greg the Egg. These are all ones that we're seeing, like, pretty commonly. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure if there's any correlation between why that is. Brimstone's another one we're getting uh, quite a lot. Like I said, I think the quality fours are just because there isn't many quality fours in the game, even even if you include modded. Although I don't think I've seen many or if any modded quality fours so far. That's the axe though. That's that's a quality three though, isn't it? Is that a qual no? The wave is the quality four that we've got right now. It's Dad's key. Shocky milk, lovely. Oh god. Do I have clutch again? Because I can't shoot once more. Oh wait, no, I think I'm just feared. Yeah, okay, I was just feared. Took some bad hits there. Another level 3 item. Try and play this guy a little bit, maybe. Just go straight in with this. Don't really know what I just did there, but I don't think I'm happy about it. Another angel deal. Another quality three. Okay, some good stuff going on in this room. Some really good stuff. I'm just trying to grab this second secret room here because it's easy enough to do. Taking bad damage here. It's a bunch of annoying copper bombs, but it's bombs nonetheless. Right, let's get out of here. Skaddles a good doodle. We gone. Yeah, getting the quality four active. That that would be like cream of the crop. That'd be like so good. Just have to watch out for when Clutch eventually reappears. Because I'm sure he will at some point. 
Funny how it re-rolls even for non-combat rooms. What on earth? Oh, it's this guy. Look at him go. Crazy bastard. Just attack these guys normally. It's going to be easier. Beautiful. Oh, another soul heart. Okay, health has regained back to a point of being happy with it. My goodness. The snail's going off as well. Okay. Try and find item room quickly here. We can probably do boss rush as well on this character because we've got five minutes. And we've got quality two. I'm going to gamble here. Hit the other one. We actually got cherry friends this time. Wow. Right, I'm just going to bail now. I want to make sure I've got enough time for boss rush. I wonder if I'll reroll every wave of boss rush or not. I'm guessing I will. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Not a bad item here to get. Easy enough. Frank cookie, good, good. Take that. Go in here. Level three. Okay, we take the quality three. And now to see if we reroll everywhere. I mean, right now, this is definitely a build I'm willing to stick with. So if it doesn't reroll, I'll just keep on trucking. It does not. Okay, we are. Very happy with this. I'm glad I picked up Spoonbender of all those items. Also, Shoop is a pretty good grab here, too. Like, look. We just murdered that wave with just Shoop. All the bullets. All the fire as well. The fire's a big... Big get for us. Oh my god, Shoop is just annihilating right now. Because it's doing 25, da 25 damage times 7, that's why. Life is but a dream, baby. <laughs> Imagine finding Boss Rush difficult. And you can just insta-kill every wave. Almost every wave, should I say. You walk into my fire, you goober. That's how you die. If they, if they line up correctly, they, they both die. But sometimes they don't line up. Like that, though. That time they do die. Okay, this one they don't die. Come on, ghosties, just give it a rest. Lovely. Probably two more waves or so left. Frail, you get a pass as well, because you're a goober. Nope, we're done. And we get experimental trend, which I'm not even going to take, because it's a quality one, and it might reveal my stats to something bad. Right, through we go. We have so many quality threes as well that we're just in the money right now. We're in such a good position. Sacred room, womb defeated, finally. Uh, unlocked, finally. Didn't even realize we didn't have it already. Right. It's time for the big boss herself. But yeah, like I said, once this character gets to late game, things do get crazy. And I was indeed very correct in my assumption of that. Things have indeed gotten quite crazy.
That was not an assumption that was made incorrectly at all. I did hear Clutch there, but luckily he never absorbed into us. You watch like 10 bombs in a row fizzle here. Okay, finally we got one. Okay. Fortune cookie paying out. Wow. Lucky. Ow. <clears throat> Luckily we got that soul heart. Wow. Oh lord. The laser is going crazy. Like a machine gun. Like, this has just been a very tech-heavy run. Like, we've just been get, getting given tech so much. Right. Oh, this is the, the one where the room itself is the enemy. God damn, the room hit me. You kidding? Got hit by the room. Oh my god, these slow firing nails. Sometimes you get like really good combos where it's just entering the rooms really good, like getting like toxic shock and stuff. Good, good. I see you there, secret room, thank you. I don't know what destroyed the rocks there, but I'm going to try and do it again. It worked. Right. And away we go. You shouldn't be too bad. Ooh. Crack that open real quick. See if we get an item. We did indeed. Only quality two, but it'll do. Don't know what I did there. I think I, I think I tried using the sword and then accidentally just ibercaxed myself. What a horrible night to have a curse. It's rock good, boy. Sacred Heart's gonna kill you. Sacred Heart plus Spoonbender. Little bit overkill, I'd say. Little bit overkill. Nice. Good stuff. Growth hormones is great for us here. And that's a quality four. We have to take it. And it gave us another item too, which I like. And although it wastes time, I am going to go and go all the way back to that room to get the soul heart. Just because we just spent three soul hearts that I wasn't really intending on spending. Intending on spending. But at the same time... It's a quality 4 that also gives us another item. I feel like I have to. Dude, these copper bombs. Why I don't like copper bombs. I did not know that a bomb would blow up an unlit copper bomb. That is a lesson learnt. Also, now that we've got flight, let's go and grab some of the stuff back here. I didn't grab before. Mum's underwear? Yeah. Okay. Little bit unfortunate on the health situation. I think going into the next floor, we're not really going to have the health we would have wanted. But it's not terrible. Flicks freeze on all the enemies. Could be good. You never know. Right. Let's go. But yeah, another quality four is just... So much good in the basket for us. Hey! Hemolacria, what a great item to grab. I think it does respect unlocks, you know, as well. Oh my god, I got hit again. I Health isn't that bad at all, so it doesn't matter too much, but... 
I'd rather not be getting hit when I can help it. Okay, I was going to try and use the kill switch, but turns out didn't need it. Okay. We're on the B line straight to the boss here. Again, we don't really care what we get on the boss fight because we've got debug to do rerolls if we need something different. And we've got quite a lot of uses of it too. It's, I thought that was the boss already for some reason. What the fuck? Oh, I lobbed a bomb at myself. Idiota. Infestation 2 is always nice because it gives us some extra for, uh, gives us a little bit extra for the boss fight or the next room. Okay, so we have Ipecac here. I didn't reroll either, so this is, this is probably a good setup. Oh, we have Dr. Vita's Ipecac. So we're immune to our own explosions. And they seem to be exploding on contact with the boss, which is not normal, I don't think. But there should be plenty. Also, very good fire rate for having bombs. Been hit a few times here, but... Oh, dude, can you stop doing this attack, please? Dude, he did this attack again. And you're just not annoying. There you go. Nice mother kill. Very fun character. I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy because I very much did. We got the paper airplane unlocked. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.